Okay, my friends, so we're going to continue the build of the Falcon 25. And basically, right now, we're going to install the aileron servo. As you can see right there on the image, uh, there is no much instructions about it. You just have to guide yourself by the pictures. But it looks pretty simple. And looks like you're going to have to buy your own screws for your servos. Or may sometimes your servos actually provide them screws, you know. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, you're going to need to do first, basically, of course, you're going to need your wing. You're going to need to locate the hatch for it. And then you need to locate these two little, you know, wood squares right here, these little blocks on your parts. You'll find them right there. It should be four of them, two for each wing. Uh, so let me show you what I'm going to be using here to do this. Uh, of course, we're going to need our servo, 20 gram servo, the two little blocks. We're going to need some CA glue or super glue or a Pepsi glue. And then I went to my local hardware store and pick up, you know, two screws with washers. Uh, we're going to need a drill bit. Uh, it's barely, probably like 116 smaller than the, than the, these screws because you need to pre-drill the hole so you won't be splitting the wood and of course you know a screwdriver and I have a little square right here that is going to make the job faster and I'm going to show you how it's going to make it faster so let's go ahead and start doing this guys uh, to first we need this little hatch right here and the first thing we're going to do is basically find the center of this hole right here the, to do that I'm going to grab my square right here I'm going to place this on the edge of this hole right here and mark it. Uh, same thing on the other side, but I flip it over so I have a better grip with the square. Uh, nice. So now we have to, those two lines right there. I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to go in here and find the middle of these two lines. And it's one inch and one eighth, so I'm going to put it here. Bam. Mark the middle of it again. Grab my square, put it on this side because it's you know, like I said, you have a better grip on it on the bottom side. That's the center right there. Now we're going to grab our servo. The I previously centered it. Uh, you need to make sure that the center the servo and then put the arm perfectly, you know, on 90 degrees up according to the servo because after you screw this in place, it's going to be hard to try to move the servo arm. So, well, we're going to place our, the middle of our arm right here with the middle line and just push against it basically to keep it square. And now what we're going to do is mark on each side of the servo, a little mark right here, each side of the servo, remove the servo. And based on that mark, we're going to put a line here and a line here on the other side. And right there. Okay, now with those two lines, we basically know where the servo is going to be and it's going to keep the uh, horn on the center right there, you see. So based on these two lines now, we're, we need to center now this arm because we don't want it too close to the top or too close to the bottom because we don't want this thing to be rubbing against anything. So we're going to, we actually can do it from this back part right here, sort of center the servo on the hole, that's about right and make sure, you see I'm off on the line right here, we need to make sure we are on the line so put it back on the line uh, it needs to go down a little bit uh, I think that's good right there uh, we're sort of, okay, there you go, that's on the line, line and the servo is basically center so now I'm going to mark on the bottom of these little ears, they are the ones that hold the servo in place we have those two little lines right there, we go back again to a square and now it's a straight line right here. There you go. Mark it and mark it. Um, now you see these lines right there. What we're gonna do here, my friends, is gonna be glue this square block right here. One gonna be on the right, and one is gonna be on the left side, on the outside. And here is where we're going to secure our servo too. So let's go ahead and glue these blocks on place where they're supposed to be and then we are going to install the servo okay my friends I have already glued these blocks in place and very nice and strong in place and I actually have to make a notch as you see right here 
for my servo wire because my wire is on the on the side of the the servo and after you do this you know you glue them on place and you pretest the servo that it's fitting nice on place uh you need to use basically some ca or super glue and cover the whole around the the whole block basically you know with the glue all over it this is going to help this thing so it won't crack because you know they're very small things and probably sometimes they 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 tend to crack so you know put this glue all over it on both of them uh, a nice coat over it should help with the cracking so then we're going to grab our servo put it on place after all the glue is dry and everything and you see if it's very nice on place and this is perfectly centered right here so next thing we're gonna do is put the secure the servo to this to the base so we're gonna grab our drill bit and we're going to drill a little hole right here pre-drill basically for the screw to go in and let me do it by hand uh, i actually recommend to do this by hand not to use a drill because you can break something with them big old things <laughs> and you can apply too much pressure on it and you can break something so let me do this right here i think that's far enough uh, do that one and let's go ahead and do the other one in place but you know just keep pressure on it just lightly pressure and far enough then we're going to grab or drill or be i mean a screwdriver a screw where the screw is right there then we're going to put a screwdriver on it and we're going to tie these things down all the way down very nice it's actually hard to do because it, it gets pretty tight whenever you get down in there um, I'm using this little screwdriver because I have a horrible problem, a bad tendency basically to over screw things. So <laughs> to keep me from breaking something, I use tiny screwdrivers. I have long screwdrivers with a small bit, you know, that you can use to apply a bunch of pressure on tiny things. But uh, I notice that I break something when I do that. So. Using these tiny ones help me to not over screw things. So I think that's on place right there. So nice, strong on place. And this is ready to be installed on the wing, which is what I'm going to do right now. The next step is gonna be taking this puppy and we're going to prefit this wire through the wing, through these holes right here. Uh, we're going to put it all the way through. But for this, I'm actually going to use this as a guide because it's going to make it a lot easier put this piece of plastic pipe all the way across right there and then we're going to grab some tape uh, I think I have some tape somewhere there we go uh, grab some tape grab the servo wire and tape it around this thing right here and we're going to pull it up back out of oops it came off this thing back in there. Let's tie this thing right. Okay, we're going to grab it again and tape it to the pipe. Right here, tape it, and we're going to pull it. I stayed out on the other side now so it came out over here and this is gonna go in place and we can take this from this now and that's it now we, all we have to do now is just screw this in place but again we're going to go here and pre pre drill basically you know the holes on each on all the four corners and we're going to install the servo and here we have it guys already everything installed and as you can see it looks very nice and all you have to do now is do the same thing with the other wing and i don't have to i haven't connected the extension here yet so what i'm gonna do is just slide this into where the aluminum tube is gonna slide to the other wire uh, that's gonna prevent them from going back in there so next step is gonna be the next aileron which i already did so both of them are done 
uh, if you have all your tools and everything you need with you it shouldn't take you about 15 minutes to do it i did everything on the camera uh, just a few minutes that i have to like gluing stuff together the i didn't put on the video but as you notice probably 15 minutes will be the max now we're going to go to the rotor um or you know the tail boom stuff to put the the rotor servo right here first thing we're going to basically locate the where the hole is and as you apply pressure on it on some spot you, you will find the hole i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up pretty good but anyway uh you can put your finger there and again when you cut the plastic off cut about one eighth of an inch inside so you won't uh be peeling off the plastic whenever you have to replace the servo now we cut right here very nice i actually cut about almost one fourth of an inch in, inside which is okay uh, the more you live in there the better cut the corners part out and right here now what we're going to do is bring our iron as you see we have the whole rudder already I'm going to bring our iron it's already preset for like half temperature because it's, it, this is like a medium temperature film so we're going to roll this inside uh, on this type of job it will actually be great the little irons i have seen them before i just never bought never bought one because i, I really never built this type of plants before uh covering you know using this monocoat or plastic stuff but i'm gonna get me one because my the plants i'm building now how i'm gonna start to using this plastic stuff a lot and a little iron is gonna be great for these type of jobs you see bender in and the hole looks very nice now what we're gonna do is fit the wire through the hole and install our servo in place and actually we have a little problem here uh, yeah so this we're gonna have to cut a little notch on this part right here on this back side so the wire can fit in easier mm, this notch is like I said, just to allow the wire to get in there easier. Cut it. I think this dash should work. Uh, shake all the wood out of there because you don't want this to be rattling. Again, feed the wire through here. Put this in place. And it, there you go. Went in place now. So we got a servo in place we're going to do the same thing we did we did with the elevator guys we're going to get grab our drill actually using the same base i use for the for the knife let's put a drill bit in here and uh, when you're pre-drilling here be careful don't put too much pressure on it or you're going to go on the other side pre-drill the hole right here easy and slow And both, let's go ahead and do both. Oops. Okay, so now uh, this is done. We're going to go ahead and just put the screws on place. Okay, my friends, so now the servo is installed on place. And what you're gonna need to do now is go ahead and do the one on the other side, which I already did. <laughs> So, okay, my friends, uh, this is all we're going to be doing today, the installation of the servos. On the next video, we're going to go with the control surfaces and install the control horns. And this point right here, if you notice, these wires actually going to fit into the wing all the way over here. So there is a bolt that is going to go on this point. Uh, so we're going to have to do something with these wires. Like what I'm going to do here is put some hot glue here to push these wires and glue them to one side because you don't want these wires to be punch by the the screw whenever you put that screw in place so put a little bit of hot glue and we're going to secure these wires to the side keeping them away from that hole where the screw is gonna be coming in to. so let's push it to the side and that's dry already okay uh, there you go that's very nice and that's gonna keep me keep my wires away from that hole so okay my friends uh thank you for watching subscribe see you next fly